Black Democratic candidate for vice president Tim Walls barnstorming across eastern North Carolina, hoping to drive out early voting for him and Democratic nominee Kamala Harris. WBTV's chief investigative reporter Nick Oxner live in our newsroom tracking the latest campaign blitz. Nick. Yeah, Jamie Waltz is wrapping up in Greenville, North Carolina right now. He's set to head to Wilmington for a rally next. The stops are the finale to his nearly 24 hours on the ground here in the Tar Heel State, starting with him landing at RDU Airport near Raleigh last night. He spent the morning touring around the Triangle, including at Duke. He also did an interview with CNN where he answered a question about hurricane recovery in the wake of Hurricane Helene, a topic that has become central in the closing weeks of the presidential race. Uh, to the folks there, first responsibility is the protection of your families, the ability of a state, local, and federal to help you rebuild. Um, and in this time, uh, we would hope that you would see that the vice president's policies are going to benefit North Carolina. They're going to benefit the country. Now, today's events by Waltz comes after Donald Trump camped out in North Carolina for two days earlier this week, including holding a press conference in Swannanoa near Asheville to criticize the state and federal government disaster response. The campaign continues with former President Barack Obama here in Charlotte tomorrow. Reporting live in the newsroom, Nick Oxner, WBTV on your side. It was nonstop here in North Carolina. Nick, thank you. Now, Election Day less than two weeks away, and you can stay with WBTV for continuing coverage of campaign 2024. We'll be bringing you updates each day as we learn them. And for all the latest, just go to WBTV.com.